God gave me a prophetic dream today. I dreamed I was outside speaking with some people about the Lord's salvation. They would not listen. I dreamed of sharing the gospel with my family and some more people. Some of them would not listen. They preferred their unholy lifestyles. I said, come with me to a place in God that I will show you. Only a few were willing and followed me. As soon as I said that, an angel, a messenger from the Lord God, came to take us away, the ones that listened and followed me. While we were leaving, a divider was put between us and the unsaved. We were taken up to an opposite side of a bridge, on the right side of the bridge. As soon as we crossed over the bridge to the other side, a fog was placed behind us and the unsaved. People could not see us through the fog. The unsaved could not see us through the fog. We could, we could see them, but they couldn't see us. We were taken to a hidden door. And this door was called the secret place to dwell. The secret place to dwell. We were hidden and under this place of protection, our generations of families were there. No harm came to us there, nor our families. And I heard God say while coming out of this dream, this prophetic dream, I heard Psalm 91 and 1. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. God said, you cannot abide under the shadow of the Most High if you do not dwell in the secret place. To dwell means... To live in a specified place continually. It doesn't stop. Dwelling in God demands interaction, communication, time, and trust. Listen closely to his spirit. The Hebrew word for the most high is El Elyon. It means supreme, high, lofty. Follow God's instructions if you want to abide in the secret place. If you want to experience life, giving, intimate communication that brings hope and peace in God, Abide in the secret place. Abide. God bless you.